I sweat, you sweat, and everybody sweats. But everyone sweats differently, whether it's the amount that you sweat or what comes out of your glands. And actually, your sweat can tell a lot about your body. Gatorade is using that information as the approach to its new GX sweat patch, which it announced on March 1st. You can buy it already in packs of two for $25 per pair and use it with a free app on the Apple Store. Uh, sorry, Android users, this is not available for you just yet. The idea is that when you slap on one of these band-aid sized patches on your inner forearm uh, during a workout, you'll be able to scan it with your iPhone and then afterwards see how much hydration you need and how much sodium was in your sweat. Gatorade will then use that information to generate customized hydration or training profiles for you to just make sure you're recovering a little better or preparing uh, better for your workouts in future. But, Based on some testing I've done so far with a couple of patches, there are a lot of conditions around this that make it maybe not easy for everybody to use. So first, you're supposed to clean the area on your inner forearm. You wanna stick the patch on with some alcohol and make sure it's dry before you slap the patch on. Then you go and work out. And this is where it gets a little tricky. First, the weather or the temperature of the area you're working out in has to be between 46 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Plus also, because it is measuring the amount of sweat on your skin, if you just know you're gonna be doing something you're not going to sweat in anyway, for example, competitive swimming, this isn't already gonna be right for you. So I booked the gym in my building for about an hour to myself and was there doing a bunch of activities like cardio, weight training for about an hour and a half. And I didn't sweat enough to register anything on the patch at all. My second attempt was a little bit better. After turning the temperature in my apartment up to somewhere around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I did a few sessions of things like cardio workouts, dance workouts, and finally, when I pushed myself to do HIT, which is high intensity interval training, for a little bit longer, I finally sweat just enough on my inner forearm to register a little bit of orange, filling up the transparent bars on the Gatorade sweat patch. So even though for me, I didn't produce enough sweat to generate the best results for the sweat patch, I did ask my coworker and our video producer, Brian, to try it out. Even Brian, who worked out hard for a full 45 plus minutes and sweat was dripping down his face, back and chest, didn't see the patch on his inner forearm fill up with that much until near the end of his workout when it started to show that he had sweat seemingly a little bit. Only the first one-fifth of the patch appeared to start to fill up. So I feel like to really get a lot out of this patch, you might need to be doing something that is A, in the summer, and B, just really intensive. Once you're done with your workout, you're gonna take the iPhone open the Gatorade GX app, and then try to scan the patch. This process is also finicky, maybe because my sweat patch didn't have obvious amounts of information on it like a sweatier person would, but it took a, a few attempts of capturing the picture of the patch before it actually did get me a result. If you choose to link the Gatorade app with, say, Apple Fitness, for example, you can pull information from activities logged by your Apple Watch or just on your phone. And then when that's done and you hit save, the app will try to learn more about your workout. After you've answered all of those questions, you'll get your sweat profile. My results, pretty obviously, were on the low end of things. So I lost very, very little fluid and I didn't sweat all that much. Gatorade also calculates your sweat rate over an hour, so based on the fluid loss in ounces, it will calculate that to milliliters per hour. It'll also tell how much sodium was in the amount of sweat that it detected on your patch, and based on any sort of purple coloring on your patch, it'll calculate the milligrams of sodium per liter of sweat that you might produce. So these, is all, these are all extrapolated from what it would have seen from your sweat patch. 
Using that information, Gatorade wants to help you meet your fitness goals. So it's gonna ask you to set weekly goals for your plan. Using all of this, uh, Gatorade calculates a score for you each week and you have a score target to meet. So based on my sweat patch reading, it's telling me that during my next HIIT session, I should drink a little bit of water during the workout, consume no sodium, and maybe consume 10 to 30 grams of carbs during the workout, which sounds counterintuitive to me because I don't ever really eat during a workout, but maybe, maybe it'll be better for me. The one thing that Gatorade did say to do that was more news to me and seemed more educational was the suggestion that I drink four ounces of fluid between noon and the time I worked out, which was 4, 4.30 p.m. And as someone who drinks too little water in the day, this is good advice. So that information I find quite useful actually. I haven't had enough time for it to generate enough recommendations to tell me, hey, it's time to hydrate before you go on your next workout. But I could see this being helpful for someone who's really into tuning their body to optimal performance. If you really wanna know just how much protein or how big a slab of chicken breast you need to eat after your most intense workout so that your muscles are getting all the nutrients they need to repair themselves, this might be useful. According to the company, the information that it's using to power this app and the insights come out of its Gatorade Sports Science Institute, or the GSSI, which has been working with athletes to figure out how best to help with their nutrition and hydration for 35 years. I'm not entirely sure just yet, especially given that I didn't get enough information out of this and there are so many different conditions before this will work, how useful that'll be. If you're a generalist when it comes to working out and exercising like I am, the sweat patch might not be for you. It seems to cater to a more serious audience than just your everyday gym rat. The other thing that irks me about this is the price. At $25 for two single-use disposable sweat patches, this is a lot to pay to just figure out how much water to drink after a workout. The other thing that bothered me about the sweat patch is how precise and oddly specific the placement has to be. The GSSI determined that you have to place it on your inner forearm because that's where it's most representative of your whole body's sweat profile according to Gatorade. For someone like me who sweats a lot more on her back, for example, I would find it easier to get results if I place the patch there, but that might not be representative of the sodium levels of sweat from all other parts of my body, for example. Plus, I can't escape the feeling that this is kind of a way for Gatorade to try to sell you more of its sports recovery drinks. There's a lot of fitness tech out there that could help you better your performance, better measure how you're doing. So for reviews of all of those gadgets, as well as coverage of everything in consumer technology, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.